Hey guys, welcome to my next informational video. For this video, we're going to be talking about uh, lights. This topic has been on hold for quite a number of weeks. I was supposed to do it way back, but coincidentally, each time when I wanted to do this, a lot of things came up and I had to put it on hold. So finally, I get some time to do this, even if it's actually a short video. So lights, okay, I don't use grow lights. I just use normal LED lights, they're actually COB lights, circuit on, chip on board, sorry, chip on board lights. So basically, it's fixed in here and I cannot change it. Uh, the reason why I use this instead of grow lights because technically they are using the same spectrum, similar spectrum, I would say. But I don't really measure how much, uh, you know, that, that meter that they use uh, to measure the light that hit the plants. I don't really do that. I just basically look at my plants and gauge, you know, by feel whether or not it's enough. And I've been doing that way. And it's been proven that uh, they are actually enough. I mean, it's growing from small to big. And also another thing uh, is not just that, but more like the logic behind it. Basically, when I look at the grow lights rating, it is almost similar to what the LED offers, except for all those um, terms that I don't really want to emphasize on because uh, I myself don't really research on it. Each time I do, uh, I mean, I don't really invest my time to actually learn the terms used in a grow light. But I do know that um, they provide more red light, which is better for flowering plants and also for crops. Yeah. So the logic behind it is that there are three different color temperatures that you can easily get, which is the 3000 to 3500 K and that is the warm white. It's actually here. I'm not sure whether you can see, but it's the orange kind of light. And also the neutral white or the natural white, which is 4000K to 4500K, usually around 4000K. And that is more like the color of the sun that shines into your house. Yeah. And there's also the 6000 and 6500K light, which is called the white light. And the white light is actually the best for foliage, for leaves, because it provides more blue light. But I don't really like it because to me, the white light is actually too bright and it somehow looks like a fake kind of color. Yeah. So that's why I prefer to use the natural white and it has a more, I feel like it has a more balanced um, red color and blue color. But to be honest, the best color light that I have used is actually the 5000K. That to me is the most perfect color temperature. I mean, it looks, it makes your house look just right, like like the just the nice kind of color, the natural color, the natural sun coming into the house. Because actually, almost all my windows are closed twenty four seven due to there always being a lot of constructions going on around my neighborhood. So my house gets really dusty if I keep them open. So I have to make do with the four thousand. Okay, uh, I only ever used 5,000 once and that was um, a bulk, but it's so hard to get. Yeah, it's very hard to get those that come in 5,000K, uh, usually the lower wattage ones, and it's not enough for me. So anyway, I use three different kinds of um, wattage. This is the 20 watt, and then there's the 30 watt and the 40 watts. I use depending on the distance of the lights and the plants, like if they're really close, maybe here, I will use a 20 watt one. The only thing I don't like about this is that the angle of beam is only 24 degrees. And yeah, so when it's near, it's actually just, you know, like a spot. Uh, yeah, it's actually a spotlight. So I don't really like that. I, like, I prefer the ones that, you know, do a wider angle. But it's really hard to get, especially for high wattage. So I have to make do with this and I have to bring it back further. Uh, that's why I use the bigger ones, the 30 watts and the 40 watts, so that when it's further, the angle actually, when it touches the plants, it's actually a wider angle. Yeah. Although now I'm actually using a different kind of uh, lights for the greenhouse, but I've been using this. And so anyway, um, for the 30 watts, I use for a distance of about one and a half meters, whereas the 40 watts about two meters, one, uh, one and a half meters to two meters. Yeah, This is about one meter to 1.5 meters, whereas the 20 watts one is much closer, of course. So yeah, like I said, this has been working very, very well for me. And uh, 
yeah anyway excuse the mess behind still work in progress for the greenhouse uh yeah as you can see that the, that glorious leaf is almost 30 centimeters and is the latest leaf and it's been growing on these lights yeah although now it's growing um, lesser i'm using uh two different kinds of lights one for the track light at the top and one at the bottom which are the floodlights but the floodlights i have to turn it off because there are a lot of flickering <laughs> it's very annoying so otherwise it actually looks a more balanced kind of color now we actually see it as bright because of the super white walls which i'm going to be covering with a black background so the lights will make the leaves look like ultra bright like the florida beauty in one of my videos i mentioned it gives off a such a strong reflection of light so that's why it's, it looks very very bright uh, that's all i have for my light a disclaimer for everybody i am not saying that grow lights are unnecessary or not important or not good but what i'm saying is that these led lights are enough for me they have worked well for me they have worked wonderful for me and the results are in the plants itself that to me, I'm not saying that they are growing perfectly or maybe to some, they are actually growing slowly. But for me, they are already growing well enough. And at the same time, the one important factor for me is that to make sure that the variegations in my variegated plants maintain or even improve. And this works. So I will be sticking with LED lights. And again, I'm not disputing grow lights being unnecessary. I haven't done any experiments or tests between a grow light and a normal LED light. So yeah, I've received a number of questions about my light. So I'm putting this out there for you to see for yourselves if my lights are ample enough for my plants. So that's it for the light topic. I hope you guys enjoy this video and find this video helpful. If you do, please give it a like. And for those who are not subscribed to me, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Let's see how it goes. Bye.